the automatic street light control system is seriously an amazing project and no doubt this is one of my favorite projects this is a very small project built around a few electronic components in this project you will learn how to make an automatic street light control system using triple five timer IC and an LDR you can also use this circuit in lawns and in laser based security systems before I'm going to explain the circuit first I would like to explain why we need the circuit in the first place and how this project works in my previous tutorial I explained everything about the triple five timer IC including the pinout basic working principle of the triple five timer IC different modes of operation monostable a stable and bi stable so if you have never used the triple five timer IC then I highly recommend first watch my previous tutorial and then you can resume from here without any further delay let's get started the components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon the components purchase links are given in the description a lot of electricity is wasted when there is no automatic switching the lights remain on in the morning because there is no one to switch off the street lights or lawn lights this results in increased bills and wastes a lot of electricity for such a small project it's not practical to use the Arduino board such a simple task can be accomplished by using the triple five timer IC this way we can keep the project overall cost low as per the data sheet the supply voltage VCC can be up to 16 volts but I'll be using 12 volts to power up the triple five timer IC is a 12 volt adopter can be easily arranged J1 is a female power jig and this is where we connect a 12 volt battery solar panel and a 12 volt adopter as you can see this power supply is based on the LM7812 voltage regulator a 470 microfarad capacitor is connected at the output of the voltage regulator at the output of the triple five timer IC an LD is connected which you can replace with a relay to control higher AC or DC loads an LDR light dependent resistor is connected in series with a 10k variable resistor or potentiometer the advantage of using the variable resistor is that we can adjust the light sensitivity by rotating the knob of the variable resistor the LDR and the variable resistor makes a voltage divider a wire from the middle of the voltage divider is connected with the trigger pin of the triple five timer IC the voltage on the trigger pin varies as the light intensity changes let me explain in detail how the automatic street light control system works the voltage on the trigger pin of the IC which is the inverting input of the comparator which is coming from the voltage divider formed by the LDR and variable resistor is compared with the voltage available on the non-inverting input of the comparator which is one-third of the VCC so when the voltage available on the non-inverting input is greater than the voltage available on the inverting input of the comparator the output will be 1 which is given is the input to the S pin of the flip-flop which is converted into 0 the output stage has an inverter which converts 0 into 1 so the output of the triple five timer IC will be high now let's say if the voltage coming from the voltage divider circuit formed by the LDR and a variable resistor is greater than the voltage available on the non-inverting input of the voltage comparator the output of the comparator will be 0 which is converted into 1 by the flip block and is again converted into 0 by the output stage so the output of the triple five timer IC will be low as you can see the threshold pin is connected with the 12 volts so the output of the first comparator will always be high so in this project the output of the triple five timer IC entirely depends on the voltage available on the trigger pin which is coming from the LDR circuit now let's check this circuit in the Proteus simulation software
When the darkness is detected by the LDR, the triple five timer turns on the street lights or lawn lights. The circuit should be placed in the area where the street lights never fall on the LDR. In the morning, when the sunlight falls on the LDR, the street lights are automatically turned off. As you can see, the simulation is working perfectly. The LG can be turned on and turned off. Before I'm going to start the soldering, first I'm going to check this on the breadboard. Initially, I connected an LED directly with the output pin through a 1K resistor. As you can see, it can be successfully turned on and turned off depending on the light intensity. But as I'm using a fixed value resistor, that's why I'm not able to adjust the light sensitivity. Now to control the sensitivity, I'm going to replace this fixed value resistor with a variable resistor. Now you can see I can adjust the sensitivity and now it's even able to detect the shadows. This time I use 2N2222 NPN transistor to control this LED. This transistor can be used to control a relay which can be used to control higher loads. Now I will start the soldering.
on low cost automatic street light control circuit based on the triple five timer and an LDR. Apart from the street lights, this circuit can be used in areas where you need to control anything on the light basis. So many other projects can be built using the triple five timer IC. I will try to aid more projects based on the triple five timer. I hope this tutorial helps you. If you have any suggestions or questions, let me know in a comment. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.